These are the 20 strangest things found in the Amazon. Number 20. 81 Ancient Settlements Contrary to what has been believed for centuries, the Amazon jungle was home to settlements measuring up to 20 hectares before the arrival of the Spanish and were home to several million people. The jungle knows how to cover its secrets. For years, anthropologists and archaeologists have argued about the amount of population that the Amazon once housed. A general idea has been that, given the difficult conditions of survival, it was never the epicenter of very large human populations. But the discovery of 81 unknown settlements by a team of archaeologists showed that the pre-Columbian settlers have been underestimated. The sites identified in the upper Tapajos Basin in the Amazon range from small villages just 30 meters wide to one that spans 19 hectares. The idea that the Amazon was a pristine forest home to scattered nomadic populations is simply not true. They also found ceramic fragments, polished stone axes, and other elements used by these peoples. The evidence of antiquity indicates that these settlements corresponded to the period 1410 and 1460, which is only a few decades before Columbus reached America. But then how come we haven't heard of this massive civilization until now? Well, one hypothesis about the dismantling of these areas is is that after the arrival of the Spanish, diseases traveled much faster than people, probably killing millions without them even knowing that the Spanish had arrived. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. Scientists have made a terrifying new discovery hidden under the Amazon. A giant hole. Experts believe that this hole is actually the result of a meteor strike. Because of this, scientists are eagerly researching the area. Who knows, maybe they'll find alien life loitering in the jungle. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. The Boiling River with 93 degrees Celsius Water Welcome to the only boiling river in the world. Yeah, really, this river has boiling water. You could perfectly well boil an egg in there, but whatever you do, do not take a dip. Among the lush vegetation of the Peruvian Amazon lies one of the most surprising mysteries of nature. It is the boiling river of Mayan Tuyaku, a place whose waters exceed 90 degrees Celsius. The uncertain origin of its temperature and its healing power make this place a great tourist attraction in the region. The boiling river of Mayan Tuyaku, named by the locals as Shine Tempishka, is located in the district of Onuria, department of Huanuco. Mayan Tuyaku is a center for the study of medicinal plants in which science is mixed with tradition to explore all the benefits of the flora that grows there. This mysterious river maintains its temperature despite not being near any known active volcanoes or geothermal vents. It's simply an enigma of Mother Nature. Local shamans believe that the boiling water is birthed by Yakumama, a giant serpent spirit known as the Mother of All Waters. Luckily, some areas of the Shanae Tempishka have a lower temperature and become the perfect place to take a relaxing bath in its hot springs and enjoy all the benefits that they'll provide to the body. Number 18. Walking Palm, a tree that can literally walk. No, you haven't fallen into a mysterious rabbit hole and landed in Middle Earth from the Lord of the Rings. This tree can actually walk. In the most remote corners of the Ecuadorian jungle lives this species of tree that moves thanks to its aerial roots, which advance as they grow. Some researchers still debate whether they actually walk, but some paleobiologists assure us that they have witnessed this phenomenon live and direct. As the soil erodes, the tree, known as Socratea exoriza, grows new, long roots that find new, more solid ground, sometimes as much as 65 feet away. This tree changes places as its roots set settle in new soil, and they end up leaning towards the new roots, slowly leaving the old ones in the air. In this way, it moves from an arid place with few nutrients to a new and better area with more light or more solid ground. But sometimes, new roots grow and the tree remains in the same place, so these mysterious trees only walk when they need to and not as a rule. Nature is magical and surprises us with new theories and research. Trees that walk in the Amazon. It seems incredible, yet true. What else could be hiding in the impenetrable Amazon rainforest? Number 17. 
Rafflesia flower, a flower that looks like it can eat you. We present to you one of the most extreme examples of gigantism in the plant kingdom. This parasitic flower, which looks like a giant mushroom, lives for about four to five days before wilting. It has five reddish petals, no leaves, no roots, and is, well, enormous. It can grow to be three feet across and weigh up to 15 pounds. The scientific name for this peculiar flower is Amorphophallus titanum, but its colloquial nickname is corpse flower. Why such an eerie name, you might ask? Well, the sheer size of this plant isn't the only peculiarity that catches the eye, or rather the nose in this case. In the rare occasion that a Rafflesia blooms, everyone nearby will notice immediately due to the fact that the flower emits a pungent and distinctive stench of rotting flesh. Not quite your delicate flower you can make perfumes from. But the invasive smell is not an ordinary occurrence, as this flower only blooms a few times during its lifetime of 35 to 45 years. Unfortunately, being one of the rarest plants in the world, the corpse flower is also on the verge of extinction. Rafflesia is endemic to Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, and the Philippines, but is also found deep in the Peruvian Amazon jungle. Number 16. Goliath Bird Eater – The Biggest Spider in the World this spider has fascinated thousands of people and researchers for its amazing qualities. The Goliath bird eater spider, or Therophosa blondi, is one of the most popular arachnid species and is claimed to be the largest in the world. It belongs to the Megalomorphidae suborder and is part of the Therophosidae family from which its nomenclature derives. It is called Goliath in reference to the biblical giant that David, the future king of Israel, defeated using a slingshot. The Goliath spider can reach a size of 30 centimeters, live 25 years in captivity, and weigh up to 175 grams. Although in recent years they've become popular as pets, their trade is illegal, so you should not acquire them under any circumstance. Its large size can impress many people, however, it is harmless to humans and will only attack if it feels threatened. Females emit a hiss known as stridulation when threatened, which is similar to that of insects such as crickets and cicadas. The body of the Therophosa blondi is covered covered by hair that also serves as a defense weapon, because when they feel attacked, they throw it at their aggressors, causing them an irritating and very unpleasant sensation. Depending on the age and size of the Goliath spider, it can change its diet over the years. It'll eat anything from small insects such as cockroaches, beetles, and grasshoppers to medium-sized birds, which is why they are called bird eaters. Number 15. Pink Dolphin, a legendary creature of the Amazon. You will not see this dolphin in the sea. It is a freshwater animal and lives in the Great River of South America. It is the most popular of the five species of dolphins that live in the Amazon River due to its unusual color as well as being the largest species. It is so unique that it is one of the unique species of the Amazon. The pink dolphin will be extinct in less than 50 years, reveals a study by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The greatest threat to the survival of this species, of which it's estimated that there may be some 50,000 specimens in the Amazon and Orinoco basins, is its indiscriminate hunting and the deterioration of its natural habitat. Science is advancing at an unstoppable rate, but the reason why this animal is pink is still a complete mystery. The experts are right to say that it could be an adaptation to life in the river due to the temperature or the presence of capillaries near the surface of their skin. However, the best theory is that they acquire a pink color over time. Also called Boto and Tonina, these dolphins are gray at birth and in their youthful stage. In adolescence, they acquire a lighter gray, and in adulthood, they turn pink as a result of the wear of their skin. In addition, this color is more accentuated in males. Number 14. Jabuticata, or a tree invading fruit. Jabuta caba, or Guaparu, is a tree native to Brazil, Argentina, Bolivia, and Paraguay. It belongs to the Myrtaceae family, and its scientific name is Plinia cauliflora. It is a tree with a tortuous appearance, with very few branches, thick bark, and a little thorny. It usually grows under the shade of larger trees. Its fruits give the impression of being attached to the tree trunk and are concentrated on the main trunk and thick branches. They are purple at first and black when ripe. The fruit of the 
Guadua Peru is classified as a berry and is highly perishable. It has a thin and smooth skin, while its pulp is white and juicy with a bittersweet taste. It is consumed directly as fresh fruit, but locals also make soft drinks, jams, liqueurs, and homemade vinegars from it. In addition, the peel of the stem and the fruit are an effective medicine against diarrhea, dysentery, and asthma. For all these reasons, in rural areas, it's grown near the houses to always have it within reach. It can also be used for diabetic remedies. A very useful fruit altogether. Number 13. Poison Dart Frogs, both deadly and beautiful. Arrowhead frogs, also known as rocket frogs or poison dart frogs, make up the family Dendrobatidae. It is a group of very colorful and striking amphibians that are distributed throughout the Neotropics or Tropical America, that is, Central America and the northern half of South America. They live, therefore, in a warm tropical or subtropical climate. They are carnivorous animals. Their diet is based on arthropods, mainly ants. Some of these arthropods contain toxic alkaloids, so when they are consumed, the frogs accumulate them in their body. Among these amphibians are some of the most poisonous frogs in the world. Their their color patterns are a warning to predators. In other words, mess around and find out is what the bright colors are saying. And they're not joking. These frogs are tiny, but despite their small size of just a few centimeters, poison dart frogs are truly deadly. To put things into perspective, only a fleeting touch of this amphibian can be fatal to a predator. And not only that, but a tiny droplet of their poison can kill an animal the size of a horse. Yeah, not so cute after all, huh? These frogs are the expert chemists of nature. They do not excrete only one type of poison, but a mixture of several different toxic substances all at once. Number 12. Victoria Amazonica, a water lily that can hold an average person's weight. Ah yes, the magnificent water lily, the beautiful and delicate flower that has inspired dozens of poets and painters throughout the ages. Or is it? I mean, of course these flowers are gorgeous, but they are not all delicate. Deep in the Amazonian jungle lives the Victoria Amazonica, a water lily so robust and huge that an adult person can literally stand on top of it and not damage it one bit. It is the largest of all water lilies native to the shallow waters of the Amazon basin and can also be found in Paraguay. It is one of the most fascinating flowers in the world. The flower, which is up to 40 centimeters in diameter, opens at dusk from 6 o'clock in the evening, exhaling an apricot-like fragrance. It stays open until about 9 a.m. the next day, just to open again the next night. The first night, the flower is white and female. Only the stigma is mature and can receive pollen. The second night, the flower is pink and male. The anthers have matured and produce pollen that's used to fertilize other flowers. The pollen are beetles that remain prisoners during the day following the first night and that, when escaping the next morning, load themselves with pollen. Number 11. Kupuasu, Amazonian relative of cocoa. Kupu Aosu is an exotic fruit native to the jungles of South America. It is characterized by having properties similar to cocoa. It contributes to the reduction of bad LDL cholesterol levels and is also well known for the Kupu Aosu oil and butter. Due to its resemblance and taste of that of chocolate, it is also known as white cocoa. This Amazon fruit is highly valued for its medicinal properties and nutritional value, and it has the scientific name Theobroma grandiflorum. This fruit is rich in fatty acids very similar to the consistency of cocoa butter. In the same way, we can find vitamins B1, B2, and B3, amino acids and polyphenols which help to lose weight and also act as antioxidants along with vitamin A and C. Kupuasu is a great source of phytochemicals with a strong antioxidant action. The fruit also has the help to improve the immune system, managing to heal flu and improve scar healing. Basically, there's nothing this fruit cannot do. And it's absolutely delicious. What else can we ask for? Kupu Asu has been a delicacy in South America for centuries, and now the world's starting to learn about it too. Number 10. Green Anaconda 
The green anaconda, or Eunectes murinus, is a species of constrictor snake in the Boidae family. It is considered the largest snake of all those of that family that live in the Amazon basin and even in the entire American continent, and the longest in the world. The females are significantly larger than the males and can measure a total of 10 meters and generally weigh between 35 and 85 kilograms, although specimens of about 97 kilograms have been reported. These large snakes are generally hunted for the fear they instill still often exaggerated, which has caused their situation in some regions to have reached the level of threatened species. However, these great and magnificent snakes are not poisonous. They kill by suffocating their prey, and they only attack humans in self-defense when provoked. The green anaconda is aquatic or semi-aquatic, both diurnal and nocturnal, and can live both in water and in trees. It can be completely submerged for 10 minutes and then bring its nostrils to the surface. It dives into the water, keeping its nostrils out on the lookout for any thirsty animal that comes to drink, at which point it will rapidly launch out of the water with great power and attack. Number 9. Jesus Lizard – The Lizard That Can Walk On Water it is a 90-centimeter long reptile and lives in the forests of Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Its main food source are small insects and fruits. Although it was introduced to Florida where it adapted to the colder winters, there are current reports of the Jesus lizard being found on the east coast of the state of Florida, where small groups crossed the north fork of the St. Lucia River. But you must be wondering what miracle he does to be compared to Jesus Christ. Well, the fact is, when they're feeling threatened, instead of fleeing into the forest, as would be expected from any other lizard, this one jumps and runs on the surface of the water, gaining precious seconds to escape while the predator tries to understand what just happened. Cool, huh? This little guy's up there with Jesus himself in the miracle game. Of course, this is the most famous feature of this reptile, and it refers to the passage in the Bible when Jesus walked on water. This incredible ability is due to the anatomy of the lizard's hind legs, with its toes well elongated and joined together by skin membranes to better distribute the animal's weight. The smaller and lighter the lizard, the greater the distance traveled without sinking. Number 8. Amorphophallus titanum – Amazonian Signature Expression of Gigantism no, you are not hearing double, if that's even a thing. We already covered a gigantic flower from the Amazon that smells like a corpse, remember? Well, guess what? There's another one. Yep, in the Amazon rainforest, there's not one giant flower that smells like rotting flesh, but two. And even though they share some similarities, they look quite different. Amorphophallus titanum is an herbaceous, tuberous plant that produces a spadix inflorescence, sometimes called the ugliest flower in the world. In May 2003, the University of Bonn in Germany presented a live specimen of 2.74 meters in height, and it had a weight of 126 kilograms. Yeah, this flower is massive, all right. This species is native to the tropical forests of Sumatra in Indonesia, but it can also be found in tropical forests of South America. And this flower smells so horrendously bad that it's even difficult to remain close to it for a long time. The function of this unpleasant aroma is to attract pollinating insects so that they take charge of the exchange of pollen necessary for their reproduction. It attracts flies that look for corpses in which they lay their eggs. It's a nasty technique, sure, but quite effective nonetheless. Number 7. Decoy Building Spider – A Spider That Builds Spiders Naturalists have found in the jungles of Peru a spider of only 5 millimeters in length, perhaps a new species of cyclosa, which builds a giant version of itself from the remains of leaves, dead insects, and various debris. Looking like a dead or pan-seared arachnid from a distance, this creepy lure dangles in the middle of the web to trick predators like wasps out of their attacks. Cyclosa spiders are known for placing debris in their webs to attract prey or confuse predators, but these traps are usually more like droplets spheres, or egg sacs. In this case, the lore looks the same as the spider itself, except much larger. They even manage to create dangling legs. For this strange little sculpture, the animal uses the remains of dead insects trapped in its web, parts of dry leaves and different detritus, and assembles them with its silk. The trick may be a way of avoiding potential predators, such as wasps, which, confused, target the giant fake spider instead of the real spider, safely tucked away behind its creation. In other in other words, this little critter, in order to survive, has become a great sculptor.
Number 6. Bullet Ant, an ant you don't want to meet. If I tell you that one single bite from this ant hurts as much as being shot by a firearm, would you believe it? Well, that's exactly why they are called bullet ants. It is most definitely an insect you don't want to mess with. This creature patrols the Amazon rainforest, stretching almost 1.5 inches in length, and it is one of the deadliest insects in the world. Only a few of them are needed to take down a grown human being. Imagine that. Its scientific name is Parapanera clavata. It is named Parapanera, a term that comes from the Greek ponorina, which means pain, because it is the only species that belongs to that genus. This ant literally has the word pain in its name. Ouch. They are characterized by having a visible stinger that produces a more powerful sting than any hymenopteran. This sting can cause 30 times more pain than that of a wasp or a bee, and can sometimes last up to 24 hours in some types of animals. These ants aren't usually aggressive unless threatened or provoked. If this happens, they usually warn their enemies before attacking them, giving off a strong odor as a warning signal. If the invaders do not comply with the warning, they usually attack them fiercely, generating a shrill sound and stinging ferociously. When food is scarce, they invade other colonies to steal their food. Number 5. Glass Frog – You Can See Through It there are more than a hundred species distributed in three genera within the family of tree frogs with translucent skin. They are known as glass frogs. In the glass frog, the viscera are visible, and if you look closely, you can see the heart pumping blood into the arteries. Food moving through the intestine can also be seen. It's like having x-ray vision. For the time being, there's no satisfactory explanation for this transparency, and not all species have a glass underside. Viewed from above, most glass frogs are light green in color. The shades vary from a uniform green to green with white or yellow spots. Due to the difficulty of finding these amphibians, new species are frequently described and the family continues to grow. Like other species of tree frogs, glass frogs have T-shaped terminal phalanges with intercalated cartilage and expanded tips, which help them climb. They they live high up in the trees close to mountain streams in the Andes and in the cloudy forests of Central and South America. The glass frog is a species with nocturnal habits and takes advantage of the sunset to collect its food, which is based on small insects. They don't usually spend much time on land, especially in the non-breeding season when they try to stay in the tree canopy. During the day, they tend to camouflage themselves on the underside of tree leaves. Number 4. Pestilotiopsis microspora – Plastic Eating Fungus Plastic pollution is an ever-present shadow over our heads. It's one of those issues that if we don't find a solution very soon, we might very well be heading for the complete destruction of the only known planet that can house us. Not to mention, we would kill every other living thing on Earth. And honestly, nobody wants that. But don't get too depressed just yet, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And it comes in a tiny little insect, mushroom-shaped. In fact, a group of students from Yale University have made a crucially important discovery in the remote areas of the Amazon. Amazon rainforest, a fungus that eats plastic. This fungus can grow on polyurethane, a common polymer in plastic products, and use it as the only carbon source. According to the Yale research team, this plain-looking light brown fungus can live in environments with or without oxygen, breaking down and digesting polyurethane before converting it into organic matter. In an experiment in which the rate of decomposition of matter by the fungus was measured, a significant lightening of the plastic material was observed after only two weeks. Pestilotiopsis microspora even removed plastic faster than the Aspergillus niger, the fungus known to cause harmful black mold. Number 3. Secret River Very Few People Know About – The Hamza River the Amazon Basin is one of the biggest and most impressive river systems in the world. And guess what? There is much more to it than we even knew about. The Hamza River is the unofficial name for what appears to be a slow-flowing underground aquifer in Brazil and Peru. It is approximately 6,000 kilometers long at a depth of almost 4,000 meters. Its discovery was announced in 2011 at a meeting of the Geophysical Society in Rio de Janeiro. The Hamza River and the Amazon River form a geologically unusual 
instance of a twin river system that flows at different levels of the Earth's crust. Although it's called a river, since its discovery, it's been questioned if it's that or not, so it's preferable to mention it as an aquifer. In the Amazon, water is transported by three types of rivers. The Amazon, the water vapor that circulates in the atmosphere, and underground. This aquifer is made up of water that moves through porous rocks at a speed of centimeters per year, and therefore cannot flow in a conventional way. Various geological factors have played a vital role in the formation and existence of these underground water bodies. Bodies. Porous and permeable sedimentary rocks act as conduits for water to sink to greater depths. Number 2. Tribal People with Unique Traditions The Amazon rainforest is the largest, most vast and unexplored rainforest in the whole world. It's so big, in fact, that there are still many indigenous people living there that have never been contacted by white people. In other words, there are still tribes living in the most remote corners of this massive rainforest that have no idea what's happening outside of their territories. They have never seen a phone or a television or western clothing. They have the same traditions and way of life they have had for centuries. And they could have lived the same way for centuries to come if their habitat wasn't being endangered precisely by the actions of the Western civilizations. Not only is the Amazon rainforest crucially important for the world in terms of fauna and flora and oxygen production, but also for its people. Unfortunately, they're all rapidly disappearing. Since the first contact with modern civilizations, the populations of some tribes sees their numbers reduced to 50% in only a few decades. Pollution, big companies, deforestation, and modern Modern diseases are all factors in the disappearance of cultures older than we can imagine. A very sad reality, in fact. Number 1. Deforestation that threatens the forest and us Considered the lung of the world, the Amazon rainforest has lost a forest area greater than the size of France since 1970, according to data from Greenpeace. Behind this massive disappearance of tropical forest is deforestation, largely caused by the hand of mankind. With an area of around 7 million square kilometers, the Amazon is the largest tropical forest on the planet. Specifically, it extends through nine countries, among which Bolivia, Peru, Colombia, and especially Brazil stand out. 60% of it. Declared in 2011 as one of the seven natural wonders of the world, it is considered a unique biodiversity reserve and home to ancestral indigenous cultures that help us better understand who we are and where we come from. And even though we should be saving this wonder of nature at all costs, 2022 started with a terrible figure. Amazon deforestation is accelerating to levels never seen before. Approximately 430 square kilometers of the Amazon rainforest were cleared during during the month of January alone, 418% more than in January 2021. Speculators are increasingly clearing forests to establish ranches through illegal land appropriation, while the high prices of beef, soybeans, and other staples are also driving demand for cheap land. What the people making these terrible decisions seem to have forgotten is that there can be no life on Earth without the Amazon rainforest. As you can see, the Amazon rainforest is a mysterious, vast, and magic place. And who knows what else hides in the lush vegetation of this amazing place. What about you? Have you ever been to the Amazon? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.